gift gift count. I'm going to get a bookmark. This has been on my TBR since. So I went book thrifting. Not all at the same time. But if that's something you like to see, then stay tuned. Hey, good people. I'm Cassie and welcome. Hello to the new subscribers. So like I said, I went book thrifting. Did not do all of this at one time. We have almost 30 books. And it may be... It is 30 books because I have one book in my bedroom. Let's get into it. So I went to three different places. Ollie's, Dollar Tree, Goodwill. Four different places. Salvation Army. So only one time to the Salvation Army. Only one book from there. So we're going to start with the Salvation Army. And this is a book that I got. It's The Midnight Library by Matt Haight. I have too many books. This book has been going around tiktok instagram all of that you know book two book top all all of that for a long time between life and death there's a library that's the first sentence in the synopsis this seemed good it sounded good to me and it was in pristine condition and it was only two oh it was only 2.99 so i got it i don't think i'm going to give too many synopses on all the books but on the ones that I can remember there about, then I'll say it. But like I said, this is this. This is going around. If you don't know what this book is about, then just um, hit up the Goodreads down below. And let's move on to Dollar Tree. All right, so from Dollar Tree, I went two separate occasions. I believe I got two books each time. The first one is Scared Little Rabbits by A.B. Geiger. I hope that's what that says. And now you know Dollar Tree is no longer a dollar. It's a dollar twenty-five. But I believe this is like um, a thriller because it talks about a fellow student going missing. So the main character, Nora, gets accepted into her dream program at the prestigious Winthrop Academy. And but a fellow student goes missing. So basically, she's, I guess she's going to be like a little Nancy Drew. I don't know. But it seemed cool, so I picked that up. The next one I got is Blood Sisters by Jane Corey. And she is the author of My Husband's Wife, which I believe is on my TBR. But this book also, it's a, it sounds like a mystery thriller, but like a horror. So I'm a little scared to read this one. Three little girls set off to school one sunny morning. Within an hour, one of them is dead. So, yeah. And it sounds like a, um, a, a show that my son and I watched a couple of months ago, which I really not, I'm not into horror, but it, it sounded like that. But um, hopefully it's good. Hopefully I'm not scared. The next book I got is Of Another Time and Place by Brad Schaefer. And actually, this one isn't that for me. This is, I will read it. But this one is for my oldest son. It's about like, I feel like she, this person is going to be a spy. It's about um, World War II. And um, hold on. She wondered if he was the man she was searching for. After all, how many men could have that name and be both a retired musician and a former Luftwaffe ace? Luft, Luftwaffe ace? I don't know. But I feel like this is going to be, it's, this person marries someone and it's like, you're not really who you say you are. And um, it seemed really good. It seemed like they're going to be a spy and then you marry the enemy. I don't know. It seemed good. He's into that type of stuff. So I picked that up. The last book I do believe is a middle grade book. I'm not sure, but it is Cat and Meg Conquer the World by Anna Primaza. Primaza. Ooh, Lord. So, Cat's anxiety, oh, I'm sorry, Cat and Meg couldn't be more different. So, basically, two people who are different become friends. Cat's anxiety makes it hard for her to talk to new people. Meg hates being alone, but her ADHD keeps pushing people away. So, they go through some things. I guess they had to be together um, for a project, and they, you know, become friends sounded good on to all these so the first two books i got are from the batman the new 52 this is i believe the court of owls stuff i don't know but it's the new 52 it's volumes five and six if they didn't have four i do have volumes one through three i need four but i got five and six 
and these were four dollars each but i really i needed to get that these books go for like ten dollars and up sometimes seventeen dollars so yeah the next thing i got i do believe is a journal come on come on come on yeah okay so the next thing i got is I'm pretty sure it's a journal it says it's a novel journal and it's the adventures of sherlock holmes and it was three dollars it comes with the the little bookmark thing let's trash that the inside cover looks like that oh my gosh he's so tiny so i'm guessing not guessing, but it says that you can write between the lines of your favorite authors. So I don't think I'm gonna do that, but that's what the magnifying glass was for. But yeah, it's so tiny. So I guess you just write between the lines and it also comes with another bookmark. So this is the closing thing, but it was cute. I liked it. I don't think I'll be writing between it and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna read this. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it was $3. The next book I have is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This is also going around BookTube, BookTok, Instagram, all of the above. And I really, really, really wanted to read this. I believe Mina Reed spread this and said this was very good. It's kind of sad. It's very dark. <laughs> Hint the title. But yeah, she is struggling with... Um, I forgot what she's struggling with. Exploring the psychological dynamics of the relationship between a precocious yet naive teenage girl and her magnetic and manipulative teacher. A brilliant, all-consuming read that marks the explosive debut of an extraordinary new writer. Yes, that's right. It's about, um, yeah, her teacher was, yeah, doing some bad things. But it sounded really good. And I know a lot of people, you know, get into this situation and can't really find a way out. So... I don't know. I really wanted to read it. It was only $5 and it's a hardcover. So why not? Next, I have Nine Perfect Strangers. Not from Target, but from Ollie's. Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. And it's a little bent up, but it was only two books there. And it was only two books there and this is the second book because another lady got the first one so yeah <laughs> so you know this is a tv show i really want to watch the tv show but when i realized it was a book i wanted to read the book before the tv show so you know all these people they go to the um health resort and i think people start dying something like that i don't know but i'm gonna read the book then watch the show now on to goodwill so i've been looking for some classics not necessarily in this cover but i have been wanting to pick up some classics if you know from a couple of videos from before i found pride and prejudice one time when i went to goodwill it was a very pretty cover but it was a little damaged on the backs and the pages and i think it was ripped on the spine so i left it there went to another one and i found another pride and prejudice by jane austen and it was in pretty decent condition so i got that then I went another time and I got Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress by Dai, I'm going to say Dai CG or Dai CG. I don't know. That's what it looks like. This book was from Ollie's, but I did find it at the Goodwill. This is basically about some boys who get <laughs> caught up in some type of war and then they meet the daughter of a local um, tailor and they like form a relationship and a bond. It just seemed really cool. And it seemed like a cool story, so I got it. The next book I got is Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. This has been on my TBR since, I think, 2012, 13 or 14. I'll put a picture of my Goodreads TBR and this book being on Want to Read with the date on it. I'll put it up on the screen. This was at a different Goodwill and I got this and it's, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That's so pretty. Oh, I'm so late to the party. I know this book was going around a long, long time ago, obviously when the this book I put on my TBR reads, but wow. And then I read the back and it says, real fairy tales are not for the faint hearted. And I'm like, is this about, you know, fairy tales and 
stuff like that i don't know because i didn't remember what it was about i just remembered it was on my tbr so i got it so next i got new moon by stephanie meyer just to complete my twilight trilogy this shelf will change in the next video or two because you'll see why it's in great condition and i'm not really going to read it i just want it for the collection because i love twilight so much so as you can see and then the next book i got is a friday night knitting club knit two by kate jacobs i do have the first book up there i'm not sure if you can see it i read it a long time ago so i was like oh i didn't even have to see what this was about because it's a sequel even though the other one is paperback this is hardcover it's okay but I'm not really a stickler. I only like hardcover when the covers are really pretty. So I really didn't care. It's just a sequel to the book I already have. Okay, let's talk about some more classics. I did find Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. This is a nice cover. I wasn't really looking for this book, but I saw it and it was in good condition. So I got it. Don't know what it's about. When I was at the store and I read the synopsis, it seemed pretty good. So I just picked it up and it's also a classic. So why not? then next i have richard wright's native son this is kind of beat up but it's okay um i saw this in goodwill one time passed on it talked to my mother she was like oh yeah i have that book you should go back and get it so we can read it together so i went back and got it black classic black author my books are falling the next two books are in the witcher series i got the blood of elves by andres Sapkowski and The Time of Content. These are books one and two. And yeah, they're different, but this was how they were in the store. Now, I wanted to read The Witcher a long time ago, but I was like, no, don't do it. But I feel like I would understand the show better if I read it. So I'm going to read it. And I'm not going to read the books before this because I don't see the point because I've already watched the show and I've watched people play the game. So I don't have time for that. The next book I have is Dracula in Love by Karen Essex. And I literally put this book back on the shelf, took it off the shelf, put it back on the shelf, took it off the shelf 10 times. And I was just like, you know what? Just get it because it was a dollar for a hardcover. And it was not, it's you know not in bad condition. I like the little frayed edges of the books. It's about Dracula being in love. Set in London, 1890, and it sounded pretty good. So we want to read about Dracula being in love. I couldn't leave that. The next book I got is Eclipse. This is this is book three. Yes. I always get them confused. Is this book two or book three? If you know, let me know in the comments as well. I went to a used bookstore, so I went to five different places got this book and another book that's in my bedroom the only thing wrong with this is it's ripped here no i got this book from the goodwill Yay! new moon i got from a used bookstore this one i got from the goodwill getting confused the next book i have is the wife between us by greer hendrix and sarah peckinen this book is so good and i'm only four chapters in i started reading it on my kindle you know how they the candle says download the sample or read the first four chapters that's what i did and i was like i need this book basically wait what is the husband's name robert richard and the ex-wife is crazy the new wife is is a teacher and she's like nice and she's she's probably has no clue what's going on and this book is probably not even what it seems. So the back of the book says, when you read this book, you will make many assumptions. You will assume you're reading about a jealous ex-wife. And that's what I think so far. Like the lady is jealous. She wants her husband back. She's crazy. She's stalkerish. She's crazy. Like, yeah. You will assume she is obsessed with her replacement, a beautiful younger woman who's about to marry the man they both love. You will assume you know the anatomy of this tangled love triangle. Assume nothing. Twisted and deliciously twilling. Twilling. Twisted. Twisted and deliciously chilling, The Wife Between Us deftly explores the hidden complexities of marriage and the dangerous truths we ignore in the name of love. Read between the lines. It's so good so far. And I did get this from the used bookstore and it was $12. Now, it was also $12 on Amazon. It's also $12 on Kindle. So I was like, I'm not paying $12 for a book on Kindle when it's the same price 
as a paper book and I would rather have the paper book even though I don't like this this little thing right here I don't like that but I really wish I had just bought it off Amazon because I would have got it brand new but whatever anyway so I really wanted this book and when you go shopping with with your husband or somebody who doesn't say no just get it off Amazon he was like well it's here just get it so I got it and it was twelve dollars <laughs> the next thing I have is Summer Bird Blue by Akemi Don Bowman. And I really thought this was a black woman until I looked her up. I'm like, oh, Akemi? But it's not. I believe she's Asian American. I believe she is Asian and white, if I'm not mistaken. But it seemed good, so I got it. And it was in good condition. A little rip right here, but nothing too bad. Everything seems fine here. Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody done. We don't get, get, y'all don't get a bookmark. Get, get a bookmark. Don't do that to your pages. I don't know what that book is about. <laughs> the next book I have is Dream Factory by Brad Barkley and Heather Hepler. I did start reading this a long, long, long time ago on my Kindle and I did not finish because I just downloaded the sample and forgot to actually buy the book. So when I saw this, I had no hesitation and picked it up because I knew I would read it. The next book is The Chicken Sisters by KJ Dale Antonia. And this seemed really, really good. It's about sisters and they have a chicken a fried chicken business i don't know i think they start fighting and then it says when family secrets become public knowledge the sisters must choose will they fight with each other or for their heritage so it seemed really good and i believe i've seen this on somebody else's haul but like i didn't really think to get it until i saw it in the store and read the synopsis and i was like hmm, pretty good pretty good and then I have After Burn and After Shock by Sylvia Day. So this, these are two books in one book by the lovely Sylvia Day, who, if you haven't read, Bear to You, Reflected in You, Entwined with You, Captivated by You, and her other book, I think that's Gideon. Let me know if I'm wrong down below. I think that is the Gideon series, which is like a play on kind of like Fifty Shades of Grey. It's not a play on Fifty Shades of Grey, but it's kind of kind of the same lines. It's a really good series. So I picked this one up and this has nothing to do with Gideon. But Sylvia, why are you on the back? It's Sylvia Day. It's in good condition. So why not? <laughs> why not? Let's get down to the home stretch. The first one is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rose. This has also been on my TBR list for a long time. I'll tell you why. Here's book four in this series that I got from Dollar Tree many moons ago. And I've been looking for this, but not wanting to buy the book in full price because I'm crazy. When I saw this on the shelf, I immediately picked it up and I was like, is this book one? Yes, it is. And I got it. If you know what it's about, cool. I don't remember. In the three kingdoms of Mitica or Mitica, magic has long been forgotten. And while hard won peace has reigned for centuries, a deadly unrest now simmers below the surface. The only outcome that's certain is that kingdoms will fall. Who will emerge triumphant when all they know has collapsed? Seems good, picked it up. It's a part of my TBR. The next book I got, which kind of started me on the path of this whole drifting book haul, is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. And is it Riordan or Riordan? Like, I've heard his name pronounced so many different ways for so long. Someone let me know. But this is the second book in The Heroes of Olympus. I bought this for my middle son, who said he's not interested in reading it. So, I got it for nothing. And at a different Goodwill, I found The Lost Hero, which is the first book of The Heroes of Olympus by good old Uncle Rick. So, I picked it up because this was book one and that was book two. So, I might as well go on with the series. And to be honest with you, I don't really want to read this. I want to read Magnus, the Magnus series. And then the last book I have is The Tea Planter's Wife by Dinah Jeffries. This seemed really, really good. And this is about a woman who marries a tea maker. He had a wife before her and no one really knows what happened to her. So it says, in this lush atmospheric page turner, 19 year old Gwendolyn has married the seductively mysterious owner of a vast tea empire in colonial Ceylon or Salon after a whirlwind romance in London. 
So basically she starts to, um, she takes on the role of mistress of the house. She learns the tea business. I love tea, so why not? But life in Ceylon is not what she expected. The plantation workers are resentful. The neighbors and her new sister-in-law are treacherous. Gwen finds herself drawn to local Sinhalese man of questionable intentions and worries about her new husband's connection to a brash American businesswoman. And she's also wondering about unanswered questions about his first marriage. So it just seems really good. And it, it seemed interesting. It's about tea or, or you know, the, the man who makes tea or whatever. It looks like it was from the library with that cover, which I'm, I could care less. I don't care about this. I don't really like that. But it's in good condition. So why not? How many times have I said why not? Why not in this video? All right, y'all. So thank you so much for watching this haul. If you like what you saw, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. If you watch anything from me before, thank you. If you've liked before, thank you. If you subscribe, thank you. Make sure y'all comment in down below. Say hi. Let me know if you've done any hauling, thrift hauling recently. What have you picked up good? What have you read that was really good lately? And um, let me know down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.